this June Abbott? I have a message for you. It's starting again. What? June, this is Annie Barlow. Someone's picking up where Charles Barlow left off. If this is anything like what I dealt with, we should get out of here. What if somehow he found a way to come back? He's trying to show us something. He wants us to go upstairs. There's only one room you gotta worry about, but it's a goddamn mess. Guy blew his brains out all over the walls. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I'll hold on to it. We're just gonna throw it away. Special Agent Terrence Ballard. Okay. Agent Ballard, let's just sit tight a minute. Why don't you just tell your lieutenant that FBI is here? Lieutenant, uh, uh, could you come out here for a minute? Yeah. Is there a problem here? No, there's no problem. It just seems that Officer what is it, 
Meyer and I are having a little disagreement. Great. He's clear to come in. Thank you. Cup of coffee before we get started? No. I don't drink coffee. Make sure you cover your feet, too. It's pretty messy in there. Tell me about the woman. Her name was Ellie Ford, 28. DMV records say she moved here from Houston three years ago. You checked her phone? Her cell's missing, but we know she kept her 713 Houston area code. And? We're pulling the records now. Who found her? Building manager. Found her early this morning. I read your report on when they found Judas last week. It was good. Yeah, well, since you were in town, it made sense to get your opinion on this one. What are the similarities? Wrists and ankles bound with wire, uh, marks and bruising from struggle and resisting, ultimately killed by decapitation. Everything matches the Judas M.O. except for a couple of things. What things? I think it's best you take a look for yourself. If you're in here, who's watching the front, Officer Meyer? Agent Ballard, mm -hmm. I can have forensics give you copies of the photos. I'd prefer to take my own, thanks. Where's her head? That's the first difference. We think he took it with him, but we're still sweeping the area just in case. That's a pretty big difference. And that is an interesting touch. Good morning. I'm late. Yeah, it was a shitty night. Yeah? Yeah, the last call was a homicide. I got stuck guarding the crime scene. Ah, oh, that sucks. Hmm. You're getting started pretty early. Mm-hmm. Busy day. I got a job booked. I'm taking Mom to N.A. I just want to get a little more done. Can I make us some breakfast? Okay. So what was the crime scene like? Messy? Oh, yeah, it's pretty messy. And plus, they brought in this dick from the FBI. It's pretty weird to bring in the FBI, right? I guess he was already down here working on that dead serial killer thing. But, of course, he walked in like he owned the place. What? I'm gonna beat him up for you? Would you? Yeah. I feel really weak compared to him. Really? I mean, he's, he's, he's pretty big for a short guy. <laughs> no, it was embarrassing. I mean, they didn't even tell me they were gonna bring him in, which made me look like an idiot. They already book a cleaner? Oh, no, probably not. Put in a good word for me? Yeah, I'll put in a word for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Babe? Yeah? You think you're overbooking yourself? Well, you gotta work, right? Yeah, of course, but I mean, you've been working a lot lately. Well, I got my mom to take care of. Honey, she's holding you back. What's that supposed to mean? Look, she takes your time, she takes your money. She's my mother, Daniel. You know, I'm gonna go to work. I'm late anyway. Well, wait, wait a minute. What about breakfast? June, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Look, I'm not trying to make you mad here, okay? I'm... You've got... such a great opportunity with your work here, and I just don't want to see you lose it. I know. 
got you something. Daniel, uh, yeah. you don't have to get me. I don't want you to think it's anything more than a than a a token or something. Just I um I saw it and it made me think of you. Wow, it's really it's really pretty. Is it too big? No. It's it's fine. It's perfect. Thank you. Okay, um I gotta go. Okay. I'm gonna be late. Yeah. June, I love you. Okay. March 9th, 1996. Okay, we're recording. So, let's start with how you left your six-year-old daughter, June, in the car. <clears throat> it wasn't on purpose. Usually with my dealer, it's just real quick, you know? It's like in and out. And how long was it? Uh, I don't really know. I lost track of time, I guess. So, you were high? Yeah. I didn't plan to, though. I wanted to leave her, but he had me do a shot with him right there. You know how it is. So it could have been an hour? Maybe. Even more? A couple hours? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, June told the cop that found her that she was only waiting a couple minutes. Yes. I've got those uh, birth certificates and hospital records you were looking for. Thank you. So she lied. Why do you think she'd lie? Hmm, June's always looking out for me. Terry relapsed, but we saw that coming. Yeah. Well, you gotta do your belt. Mm. Since when do you start wearing a ring? Oh, it's just something that Daniel gave me today. Daniel gave it to you? What? What are you smiling about? Nothing! I just think he is really good for you. It's really beautiful, too. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Oh, wait, no, honey. I gotta go in for my test before we go home. Right now? It's for my probation. Well, Mom, how long is that gonna take? Because I have a job later. You know what? If you're too busy, then that's fine. No, I'm not. Drop me off, I'll take a bus. Mom, that's I fine. won't take you. I just wish that you would tell me these things ahead of time. You get a call from the station today? Yeah, they said they're gonna release the crime scene in the morning as soon as the FBI gets the outfit. Dan, I know you weren't trying to start a fight this morning. Yeah, I, it's no, just... No, 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 listen, I... I really appreciate how supportive you are. What is this song? Oh, I just, I just downloaded this today.
Good evening, Officer Meyer. You gotta be kidding me. June Abbott. Uh, yes. Terrence Ballard, FBI. Oh, you're the asshole FBI guy. Yeah, it's probably me. Isn't it kind of late? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. So you're not married? No. And June, you work in trauma scene cleanup, right? Yes. Is that how you two met? No, we met in community college a couple of years ago. I'm sorry, why exactly are you here? I'm an FBI profiler. My uh, first case was the uh, Judas killer. I began that profile over 20 years ago when the trail went cold. And the case is closed, right? Do you recognize this woman? No, I've never seen it before. What's her name? Ellie Ford. I believe you're cleaning up her crime scene tomorrow. Now, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm pretty sure this is the work of a Judas copycat. Have you been contacted by Annie Barlow? Annie Barlow? The woman who actually killed Judas. She's not returning any of our calls, and I figured... I don't know. Is she a suspect? No, no, I just... We need to speak to her. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with June? I think that June may be a target. Why the hell would I be a target? Well, seeing that your mother was one of the women originally killed by Judas. That puts you at the top of the list of women that... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, you're mistaken. Uh, my mother is still alive. And I'm referring to your biological mother, Jennifer Glick. My mother's name is Maggie Abbott. Well, not according to your birth certificate. I'm sorry. Did you not know this? You were just at my mom's house, weren't you? I was. Yes, I'm... Well, I'm trying to talk to anybody connected to the original case. Oh, here. These are some personal effects of Jennifer Glick. We had him at the FBI. We don't need him anymore, so I figured that... Well, Thank you. You may want to. Now... If I could just have a few more minutes of your you time. You know what? I think that I'm I'm done for the night. Um, thank you for all this, but can we talk some other time? Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, can I hold on to this? Sure. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I'll show you out. This June stuff? Yeah, her work. You work mostly nights now, right? That's correct. In June, she's here all alone? You're free to leave now. So you're just assuming that she's home in bed at four in the morning, right? If you have any more questions for June, you can ask her yourself. What do you want me to do with that? Take it. Just in case. Good night.
Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to protect you. Protect me from what? That my real mother was butchered? She was my sister. She was my mother, Maggie. I had a right to know. But you lied to me my whole life. Why? So you could have someone take care of you? I didn't mean for it to happen, though. You're pathetic. Who is my dad? Huh? This is my fucking life, Maggie. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. when you called 911. 
Yeah, I, uh, I use my cell phone to make the call. Have you always had a key to Miss Abbott's apartment? She was my mom. Why don't you tell us about the fight you had with your mother yesterday? Miss Abbott. He already knows what we were fighting about. Could you tell me, please? I just found out that my mom wasn't my real mom, so I came over here to talk about it, and we got into a fight. I woke up this morning, and I felt bad, so I came over to apologize. Neighbors said there was a lot of yelling. I was angry. Obviously. How could this happen? Honey, Carver called. I was just on my way over. It's my fault. It's all my fault. How could this possibly be your fault? Hmm? I love you so much, Jim. I love you too. What's the matter? Hi, I'm looking for Annie. I, um, I'm not sure if I have the right number, but um, listen, um, someone's picking up where Charles Barlow left off, um, and the FBI said that I'm a target and that you are too. I, um, I just found out that my my biological mother was murdered by Charles Barlow when I was a baby. Um, anyway, if you if you could just um, if you could just call me back on this number, that would be great. Um, oh, it, it's June Abbott. My name is June. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, bye.
What you looking for? Oh, hey, <clears throat> is your uh, is your old portfolio in here the stuff you shot in Kansas? Yeah. Why? It's just a lot of landscapes and uh, stuff in my dad's funeral home. Just looking for some reference photos for a mortuary. Just gotta keep my mind busy, and I got those pages to finish. So. You gonna be okay for tonight? Yeah, I'll be okay. Okay. If there's anything you need me to do, just let me know. Okay. <clears throat> well, I should get going.
you here. Hold on. All the lights were on. The TV was on. The, the living room is a, is a mess. What we did you sleep in here? No, look, it's not okay, June. I was... I was really worried about you. you didn't know Please, stop. You... I just... I can't... What the hell is this? You do realize you could get a yield in county for tampering with the crime scene, right? Are you following me? What are you doing here? I was looking for something. What are you looking for? I cleaned up enough crime scenes to know that people walk off with stuff sometimes. I was just making sure that all our things were safe. How long have you been in trauma scene cleanup? A little over two years. Kind of an odd career choice, don't you think? I could say the same thing about you. You obsess over serial killers for a living. No. I profile them so I can stop them. Have you always been comfortable with death? Why would you ask me that question? Because you picked a career where you wallow in it every day? Wallow in it? Talk about it like it's something disgusting. It's not. They're people. There's respect in what I do. Wow. You are very interesting to me. Your artwork is interesting, too. Do I scare you? Are you gonna arrest me or what? No, I'm not gonna arrest you. And stop following me. Why did you say that you didn't recognize Ellie Ford? Because I didn't? Yeah, you did. 
I could read it on your face the moment I showed you that picture. Why would I lie to you? Same reason everybody does. Hello? Is this June Abbott? Yes. June, this is Annie Barlow. Annie! Hi! Yeah, hello! Shit. Um, you got my message? You said that your mother was killed by Charles Barlow? Yeah, her name was Jennifer Glick. Your mom was Jenny Glick? Oh, you knew who she was. Yeah. I mean, everyone knew who she was. Well, um, now there have been two more women killed the same way. The FBI, they think that we're targets, but I, I want... So what is it that you wanted from me? Hang on, wait, wait. What if it's not a copycat? What if it's something else? What if somehow he found a way to come back? You mean Judas? Hang on, my boyfriend just came home. Hi. Hey. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just chatting to an old friend. Okay. I'm gonna crash pretty soon. I'm pretty beat. Okay. Manny. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but if you have a boyfriend, then why don't you go talk to him? If I thought he'd believe me, I would. At first, I thought that it was all in my head, but I know that there's something in this house. Something watching me, which I guess does sound pretty crazy. Look, I might know somebody that can help you. Hey, yeah, Jesus. Right. We're looking for Stevie. No, thank you. Whoa, hold on. Get your goddamn hands off my door. Relax, I'm friends with Stevie. Just tell her that Annie's here. She's gone. She left with her brother. Well, when is she coming back? You're not coming back. Wait, no. wait, wait. I really need to talk to her. If Giles finds out that I let somebody talk to you, he's going to kill me. It's okay. Fine. That makes me look like an asshole. Hi, Annie. Hi, Stevie. Hi, I'm June. June's mom's Jenny Glick. I can't help you. You don't even know why we're here yet. I'm leaving today. Giles has his packed already. Oh, where are you going? He doesn't want to see me get hurt. 
People are already getting hurt. I know. You know? And you don't want to help? You just want to run away? No. It's not running away. It's... See, you can't see the whole picture because... Steve. Stop. Annie, you're... Stop. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 Steve, wait, 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 because... And Stevie's right, you know. About what? About getting out of here. Look, June. If this is anything like what I dealt with, it's not worth it. And you should get out of here. Leaving will make a difference. It's attached to me, whatever it is. The only option I have is to go in there and find out what it wants. Thank you. June. Why are you so convinced that it's Judas? Because I think he's my dad. Nice to meet you. Well, I gotta get going to work, so I'll see you later. Okay. Have a good night. Nice meeting you. So Daniel didn't hear anything? No. Which is why I thought I was imagining it. Why did you stay? Because you have no idea what you're doing. So what now? Do you have anything of his? No. Trap me in here. Come and let me out. Well, why this room? So it could get me in there. We're gonna need a candle. Watch your head on.
Okay, and sit down. It was the last song that was playing when Ellie Ford was killed. Annie? dead. What happened? Looks like you hit your head pretty bad. Hey, just take it easy, all right? That's not Judas. 
Ellie. When you're at Ellie's place, did you see a record player? Yeah. Yeah, that song was... Wait, how did you know she had a record player? Because she's trying to show us something. Hey, I said take it no. easy. No, 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 I gotta get back to Ellie's. There's something there that I'm missing. You're not in any shape to go anywhere. No, just give me a minute, I'll be fine. No, I'll go, you stay. No, I'm, I'm fine. Look, you'll I'm slow just... me down, all right? Just... Text me the address. Wait. When we were upstairs, you said pink room. What's the pink room? I don't know. It's all she'd tell me. I know, I'm sorry. You still with Annie? No, she's gone. She went to look at Ellie's. What the hell are you two doing, June? Where are you? Home. Okay, look. Stay there. I can be there in two hours. No, you don't have to come home. June, I'm serious. I do not want you to get hurt. Please. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll be right here. <sighs> Hello. This is Daniel Meyer. Look, uh, I just got off the phone with June and um, I'm worried that she has more to do with this whole case than I thought. Look, I'm calling you because I don't want to bring her in. Not yet, so can you just, uh, can you just meet at our house in two hours? Of course. Yeah. And we'll just see what she has to say. Officer Meyer, I really appreciate this.
Can I help you? Maybe. What do you do here exactly? Well, people come here to take pictures. You can bring your own equipment or we can rent you some. Well, we rent you the room and we provide the models. There's no pissing and there's no screwing. You interested? Do you know who this is? Yeah. She's one of the models here. I haven't seen her around in a while, though. Who likes to take her picture? Lady, I wouldn't tell you even if I could. Look, I just want to know a little more information about her. Yeah, why don't you ask her yourself? She's dead. Oh. Bummer. She was murdered. And her name was Ellie Ford. Jesus, what? Do you know what this is? Yeah. So, Houston area code. She was from Houston. Hey, listen. I think you might want to go back there and take a look at one of those rooms with me. I'm good. Thanks. Open the door. Ford? Miss Abbott. What do you want? Just a little more of your time. Not tonight. I'm busy. It won't take long, I promise. Do you want to answer your phone? I can wait. Hello? June! Jesus, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Agent Ballard is here. Listen carefully to me. Just stay away from him. Why? It's Ballard. He's the copycat. Yeah, I heard you. I'm gonna call in squad cars now, but you need to get out of there. Would you like something to drink? Some coffee? I don't drink coffee. Some water would be great.
radio yet. The paramedics just arrived, but we, we know it was Ballard. Neighbors saw him leaving. She was just with me. She was trying to help me. June, I'm so sorry. I... June? <sighs> Up. Hey, you sure did. Oh my god, I was worried about you. Are you sure you're not hurt? Are you okay? I'm fine. She attacked me. <clears throat> Sir, units are on the way right now. We're gonna figure this out as soon as we can. What's there to figure out? It's pretty clear what's going on. You... Oh, oh. <laughs> See where the other officers are. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're be right back. much longer. Daniel? Yeah? Where are the cars? No. Should be here soon. Then I'm gonna wait outside. Honey, wait.
This was one thing I was hoping we could do together. It feels so good to finally talk about this. I've been trying to talk to you about it for a while now, but things got complicated. Let's see. I fell in love with you long before we ever met. Please don't. He told me how to find you. He told me that you were Jenny Glick's daughter. Do you have any idea how special that makes you? Speaks to me, June. Judas. No, he doesn't. Daniel, he's dead. Oh, he does. I see him every time I look into your eyes. He told me that, that you truly are the one person to carry on his work. That's what brought us together. No, Daniel, I loved you. I'm only here to help you. It's beautiful. can do his work together. I almost shouted for joy when you brought Annie home. <laughs> what are you talking about? Watch her tonight. I was going to take you to go find her. But you did the hard part for me. Oh, you should have seen her face. <laughs> Haven't she died? I can't I didn't bring her to you. Yes, you did. And Maggie, you found the Bible page in my purse. Do you have the Bible here with you still? If you got a page, oh, it could be our thing. I don't want to pick out a page. Daniel, please put the knife down. June, but you're not even trying. Daniel. Stop. Daniel, stop. Daniel, stop! Stop it! This is what you were meant for. I'm only here to help you take the next step. Now take this knife. Cut off his goddamn head so we can really get started. Good trick. I'm realizing now that maybe you weren't as ready for this responsibility as I thought. And that's okay.
I love you, June. And I'm sorry. But I lied when I gave you that ring and said that it didn't mean anything. Truth is, I... I wanted to ask you to marry me right then and there. But I chickened out. Because I didn't want to scare you away. We have a special connection, June. And I never want to spoil it. for the world. <sighs> so don't give up on me. I won't give up on you. Hello? Hello? Is, is this June Abbott? Yes, it is. Who is this? Uh, it's Stevie. Stevie? I can I can barely hear you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Um, June, I, I have a... Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I, I, I have a bad connection. I'm listening. I have, a, I have a message for you. It's from Annie. She wants you to know that it's starting again. That you need to be careful. What? I have to go. It's 
It's dangerous for me to keep talking. No, 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 no. We, we don't hang up. 